What's up, my pungios? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys episode three of this house renovating, interior decorating project. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the outside and landscaping. Now, this might be a callback to last year when I made a short Instagram story and put up a vlog. This is going to reflect a lot of that hyperlapse, but it's more going to show you an update of what it looks like. So if you're too bored of that stuff, then just go to like the fifth or sixth story where I've shown you the update uh, and then I'll show you the process like I normally do. I'm going to go back downstairs and then we're going to go outside and I'll show you my property around back and outside. So headed outside, you can see that we've got a very small backyard. This is a townhome, as you can see. Our property goes from that fence line to the back of that larger fence to about the tree and then comes in. So it's not very much. The whole lot's about 1.9 acres, so it's not very much. It's probably like 200, 300 square feet. But the side part, as you can see, so on the side you can see there was this flower bed that was unkept that just had wood chips and dirt covered on top of it year after year as the previous owners did very little to, to fix it. So this episode is all about me landscaping and putting grass here. Okay, so let's go check out. This is a year later. It's the springtime. It is a year later. This is current time. You can see here that uh, this area has been untouched, but the grass has grown in all along here. Not too shabby, if I say so myself. You can see some areas that have divots still. But other than that, I'd say it's a pretty successful seeding. And here's how I did it. I decided to grow the grass, not use sod because it's only 200 square feet and you had to buy like a pallet of 500 square feet, which was like 300, 400 bucks. If we grow it and use our own you know, fertilizer or whatnot, it saves me about $300. According to the packaging of the seeds, it's gonna take about three weeks for the, the seeds to grow, fully matured and into a fleshy, lustrous flat grass. But I, I'm gonna say probably it's gonna take six weeks. I'm gonna try to document the whole thing. I've got a time lapse set up. I've got this camera and, and I've got three kids that are ready to help. I've got my wife to take some pictures and uh, we're gonna have a good time. I don't think, I don't think it should take more than an evening, so hopefully that's how long it takes. That being said, let's jump right into it. Cue that hyperlapse. quite a bit of the mat. We've gotten up quite a bit of the wood chips. We're gonna spread it down, but we gotta get the, see how flat this is? In just a minute, we're gonna till it, and then we're gonna add some of the food to it. Date. We are about halfway through. The kids all gave up and went inside and started watching the show. Evie's doing a great job. She's been helping me tons. I'm gonna take a break, use the restroom, eat some food. Yeah, I'll probably just drink some water and get back to it. Everything you said, I know you felt this many times before. Finally an ending. One more hour is more than you can take. Next day, final product. You can see the seeds are still kind of 
kind of there on the surface. I think what I'm gonna do is I have to put, I'm gonna have to put another layer on top of it, maybe a little bit later, but I'm uh, pretty confident in how this turned out. Huh, look at this. There's gonna be a bunch of bluegrass that's gonna go right here, oh goodness, what a pain. That being said, like if you like, subscribe if you wanna see more, and you with any vlog center out. Woo!